Hello, this is Jarrett 16 from My Lego City, and today we're having the first look at the early development of the Lego Mono Tram that I'm designing. Um, first of all, the inspiration comes from a man well known as Jan Gricks on YouTube. He does the best Lego reviews I've saw, and he has one of the most creative minds in uh, YouTube for Lego. And he's the one who gave me the idea to build this. Uh, I will apologise for my throat and that. Um, so first of all, this is the track I will be using. It's four wide, obviously, because that's where the tram comes in its unique style. Um, this is the old track. I need to get a few more bits, but not until I've got the tram design sorted. So let's have a look at it. Here we go. Mono tram 0.2. <laughs> This is actually the second design. The first design was an early prototype and looked very different. Um, the main feature of this is the cockpit. The cockpit is something that I really wanted to make, you know, look um, different. Make it look like a tram as well. And it does. It suits it very well. And this compartment is one of five. There'd be another one exactly to this, but on the other end. And then there'd be two passenger compartments and then a motor. Then the motor would be right in the centre. Then the motor being in the middle is going to be like um, a British in the city they built years ago. And it had all these cars and then right in the centre of it, it had this massive power unit. And that way you could have loads of passengers and then just one car, especially for the engine. And it was right in the centre of the train. And that's what I'm going to do with this. Um, and it should work. I can't see any reason why it wouldn't. The motor's got to be battery powered. It's got to be just a small one. Um, it ain't got to be radio control or nothing. So. As you can see. It does have its own look to it. It is missing loads of stuff. Now these are all from the Lego Hall Part 1. Which I add, this was mainly for the tram, where every bit was. And it was mainly these red bits, as you can see, what all these uh, white tiles on. And a lot of these, there was like 22 of them. And they may basically make up the livery. That's what the livery's got to be, these white tiles are alone. And on this side, there was actually two more, yeah. But it turned out that the driver wouldn't fit in with them. So I had to redesign that and put these big plates in. And I'm still not 100% on this. So I may have to change that to a window or something. But for now, it looks alright. Uh, there's loads to be changed on it, I'm sure. Uh, the windows, when I designed it, these were red. But I can't get any red ones at the moment. So these blue ones are just taking its place at the moment. They would not be on the final design. They are just uh, purely to know where the windows are going. Also these white bricks across the bottom. These are old ones. These will not be used in the final design. These are just to make up what it's going to look like. And I don't know. I'm still not 100% on just having that all white. But with the red windows it does look pretty cool. So, maybe, maybe not. I'm not too sure on that. As for the roof, um, here's the door. As you remember, I showed you in the Lego hall. Um, then there's got to be sloped bits either side, right down to the door, right down again. Um, I am putting an area here. Um, yeah, about here the area's got to be. And I think that'll look pretty good. Also the horn, I like the uh, horn feature, it looks pretty good on top of that cab, like that. So this compartment can fit four mini figs, three passengers, one driver. Other apartments can fit four, the passenger compartments, they can fit four mini figs. And then there would be another end car where it can fit four, but one driver. Uh, the chassis, not 100%, there's a bit of a bend in it where the joint is, and the joint is right between these... Like radiator ducts, yeah. So I may have to redesign this area. Um, you probably can't see it, 
but there's a slight bend in the actual Lego and I don't want that. It needs to be as straight as possible and that's one of the main problems is this because it's not a big part it's right on the joint there's one so it's just splitting straight down from the middle. Uh, we've got to look at the bogey a bit quick. So these are made up from one of these little circular things onto a disc mount and then these axles basically these are car ones pretty simple and they just go on the bottom like so and the wheels that's going to be used are these from the Lone Ranger set not off this Lone Ranger set but I have three more of these coming so they will be used on this one uh, this one will be staying complete and put away on display um, and then the rest of the Lone Ranger bits will just be put into the pots for spares so the door is basically a big window comes up it's, it's the same as one of these windows here it's just they will be able to open and the floor also something's got to be done with the floor just to make that look a bit nicer it'll probably be flat tires I might even have a mini fig stood up by the door so yeah that is the first look at the model tram uh, just a quick look at the headlights actually so you've got the rear lights here and then you've got the front lights here directional lighting now these aren't complete these are got to come out a little bit more to about the, under the glass then just to make them a little bit closer to these red ones because these red ones don't have stick out a lot so that's one feature i got to do but the red ones do act as like a bar then a bash bar to try to take some of the blow if I had a big accident so that's it I have to get a train driver and some windows so thanks for watching um, I did meant to show this uh, these are just decorative and then down here this is where they go and connect if you saw my Lego hoard number 2 yesterday you'll see that I had some of these ball points to come and they can fit a place to join all the cars together all the units so thanks for watching and that is the first look at the monotram. Hope you like and next update on this will be as soon as I get the windows. So thanks for watching and bye.